happy birthday idea, happy 25th anniversary. When I compare the present with my time in idea in 2005, I can see a lot of things which have changed massively in the world, but the world for idea has not changed as much as one might expect. It's basic philosophy and its basic approach, I think, has withstood the test of time rather well. The approach uh, by which it specialises in producing the technical know-how on how to build solid consensus-based institutions, including electoral systems, how to manage politics, how to build successful political parties, how to ensure a proper consideration of gender in politics. So many different issues. But the world has changed incredibly around idea. I think of five issues which are startling in their implications for preserving democracy. Starting with the whole issue of climate change, which we scarcely spoke of and which is now impending disaster for many countries, cities around us. Secondly, financial austerity and in inequality, which has long-standing, difficult challenges for governments across the world. Thirdly, the implications of conflict, particularly for the Europeans, but also for West Africa, of the conflicts that have spread from Afghanistan, Iraq, Syria, Yemen, Libya. These causing migration, causing a, a new fear of terrorism, uh, obviously new challenges for governments. On top of that, COVID. And adding to all the complexities of policy making is the complexity of social media. How in such a divided society, segmented, uh, a polarised society, can one build the consensus necessary to tackle these long-term challenges? I think IDEA is beginning to tackle some of these issues, and I'm very happy to see it developing partnerships with many different organisations. But it could go further. I'm sure it could go further in seeing how to develop consensus-based policies in a period of such challenge and with such a polarised society. And to do that, it needs governments need to work very much with civil society and political parties. Could IDEA look into this? Could it seek good practice in how societies as a whole manage to tackle some of these challenges? I wish IDEA good luck.